Hey everyone, Ava Paul here, and we have another Funko figure set to look at. And this time it's Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't really know what series this would be from. Uh, supposedly, from what I heard, these are part of a unreleased game or an upcoming game. Uh, I don't know. I really have no clue. Uh, but there's six figures in total if you get the Walmart exclusive Balloon Foxy. Really cool, so there's two balloons. We have Balloon Foxy and Balloon Freddy, and then the rest are circus figures. It's really cool. Uh, some of them, it's kind of like, eh, I don't know if I would see them in a circus. They're like, Circus Foxy, mm, kind of has like a hobo look going to him. So doesn't Circus Chica, like patches on her skirt and everything. But when you look at Circus Freddy and Circus Bonnie, they look like circus performers. They even have like, the typical kind of like, he has a mallet. Oop. Yeah, he does not want to stay up on there. But uh, he comes with like, it looks like a carrot TNT stick. Because it looks like the little uh, stem has like a, it's a wick. A little fire effect on it. Not really sure. We'll take a closer look at it though. Uh, she does come with a little seltzer bottle spray thing. So that's cool. And of course, Balloon Foxy and Balloon Freddy both have balloons. And Circus Foxy does too. Now, if you look at the back, nothing too fancy. It only shows five of the figures. They never put the exclusives on the back. So, if you only go by what you find in stores, you're going to miss figures. Uh, they do that with pretty much every one of the lines. And it seems to only be Walmart exclusives. Although, lately, it seems like uh, they've been doing a lot of website exclusives. I know there's a couple of them that are coming up. I think... Uh, uh, there's a, what is it, a uh, Glam Rock Freddy, that's all like, uh, I don't know how to say it, photo, I don't know, it, like, I don't know. it's weird looking, but I like it, but, so we're going to open these all up, and we'll take a closer look at them, alright, well here they all are, now, I like these, they're cool, they're different, they're not just like, different reskinned figures that they've been doing in a lot of the VR ones. Uh, that always kind of bothered me. I'm glad to see that they're finally doing something, you know, different molds and stuff like that. Uh, granted, I wish this game came out first before the figures, because if this is an actual game that's coming up, I think they kind of ruined it by putting these out beforehand, which isn't actually the first time Funko has done that to a FNAF game, uh, putting out figures out before they were supposed to. I think they did that with Security Breach. I think. I'm not sure. There, there was, I know there was some uproar about Funko releasing some figures and they weren't supposed to yet or the game wasn't out yet. They're like, it kind of spoiled something for some, for some people. I'm not sure. I think it was Security Breach. So if this is an actual game, they should have waited on this. I'm still hoping to get things like Toy Chica, you know, well, any of the toy figures that aren't VR. But I don't think they're going to do that. They are coming out with Sun and Moon, though. So at least we're getting those for Security Breach. I mean, they could go back to the older games and finish those off. But I guess Funko has more important things to do. Like, lose money for Pops. But, uh, yeah, so, very cool. I like them. I do have some nitpicks. But we'll get to that later. So first... Let's go over, uh, well, let's see, we have the accessories. Let's say we got the balloons for both Balloon Foxy and Balloon Freddy. And they're hard plastic. I like that little sound they make. But this is a soft plastic down here. You can actually kind of bend it. They don't. It doesn't, like, stay bent. It will go back to its original form. So, you got that. And then Circus Freddy has a little mallet here, a blow-up mallet. You can see where the uh, plug is down here that you would put the air in. Very cool. Again, kind of hard. Not as hard as the balloon, though. It's a different plastic. This is like a a hollow plastic. Well, this is solid. But still not as hard. But not soft like... Uh, well, well, we'll see that later. So we got that. Then we got Chica here. With her little spritzer bottle. Pretty cool. Like I even had little bubbles drawn on there. And we got that 
TNT stick of a, a carrot right here. Very cool. I like that. Then Circus Fred or Cir uh, Circus Foxy with his deflated balloon. But if we go back in time to Balloon Foxy, he's got a nice balloon. Now I like how they did with the. Uh, Balloon to circus for both the figures over here. Or, well, the four figures. Uh, they kept the color schemes. Like you see Foxy here. Reds, yellows, blue for the pants. And then here, he's got the red and yellows. But you know, he also has green pants. But he does have blue eyelids. So, uh, yeah. Didn't know his eyelids would be blue. And then... Also, the balloons, when he was a kid, you know, balloons all nice and everything, but when he got older, it popped. Or just lost air due to age. Foxy's older, the balloon is older. Has he really been carrying around the same balloon since childhood? Oh, that's pretty sad. But he even looks sad. He has, like, teardrops on the side of his face. And then when you go over here, you look at the Freddies. Same thing. Color schemes are the same. We've got white, red, and blue. So not bad. He's all smiling. He's happy. He grew up to be a clown. Kind of looks like he's the, uh, you know, the one in charge. The ringmaster. That's what I'm thinking of. Pretty cool. He even has one of the buttons still. We'll go into them after. I just want to show the differences. Now, let's start here. So, he has a little propeller hat. Do not twist that. It's not supposed to be twisted. Uh, yeah, that's not going to move. But very cool. You see his fangs down there. He's got a tail. Tail does not move or anything, so don't do that. But yeah, he can move. He has articulation. He can go around. They can kind of go up and down. Arms can't go all the way because the head is in the way. But the torsos, oh geez, his torso is, let's get his arms up so the tail doesn't get in that way. But, yeah, that thing is tough. You can also pop them off. Pop the torso off and you can put it right back together. And we've got the legs, legs down here. Well, the feet, I mean, will move. But the legs do too. Although, there. Kind of weird. To get the leg to go up. It doesn't actually go up, it just kind of goes to the side. Very basic, but I like it. And I like how they're not... It's like these are supposed to be living beings, not animatronics. Because you can see, they don't have any of the joints on any of them that the other figures have. So then we go over here. Boulder Foxy. He's got a little patch there on the side. He definitely looks like a hobo. <laughs> but even his face is frowning. He's got the teardrops on both sides. I like the, uh, so I guess he's supposed to be a clown too. They're all supposed to be circus performers. But, uh, yeah, because he has the white muzzle, white ear tips, like he painted them up. Now, same thing. The head, well, his head does not go up or down. But it goes all the way around. He can move at the shoulders, move his arm up and down. Head is in the way though, so he can't go all the way. But, elbows can move. So he gets a little nine, well, not exactly 90, but close. Then same thing for the waist, that can go around. Legs, same as the other one. Uh, they go at an awkward kind of up angle. And the feet, well, this one is looser. I can actually do this one. The feet do spin around. Now, I have to say, uh, quality control must have been sleeping when they did these. Uh, the paint job is not good on a lot of them. They look good from a distance, but when you get really up close, you see the imperfections in them. And not just the paint, other things too. Uh, with Foxy, you can notice it with the suspenders. The paint goes over onto his chest area. So, eh, not great. And also, the suspenders don't actually line up. With the buttons down here. Like if you have this one perfectly lined. Look, even some of that yellow paint goes over onto it. 
but maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know, but it just goes over too much compared to this side where it's a nice straight looking line. I don't know. But like I said, the suspenders lined up with the button perfectly. Go over here, it's not lined up. I don't like that. Oh well. I mean, what can you do, right? But the rest of them looks good. Oh, look at that. And if you get any of the front ones to line up, the one in the back doesn't line up either. <laughs> okay, that's just wonderful. Uh, I didn't see anything wrong with Balloon Foxy, though. His paint actually is uh, pretty decent. I mean, the red stripes in the back don't go all the way down. You can see some yellow right there. But besides that, he's really good. Alright, so next up, Circus Bonnie. I have a problem with him. Uh, if you look at his chest, if you have it perfectly straight so that it's smooth and flush on the sides, which it doesn't really want to be because it's not centered correctly, uh, again, if you line up the lines on the details together, the paint's off. Over here you can see, but the lines that the paint's supposed to go up to are matching. If you go over here though, the paint doesn't match, and uh, the lines barely match. They're off by like a millimeter. But definitely you notice the paint off on this side. I just don't like that. So if you fix it so the paint matches, the lines aren't. And then you get this problem. The body is not lined up perfectly. So you have that little overlap there. Don't like that. But he's got some bills on. The bills look like not enough paint might have been put on. You can kind of see like some dark under it. I could be wrong. It's just a dark paint they used for it. But he has all the same as Foxy. He can move head, arms. His can actually go up and down a little bit. Foxy couldn't though. Very cool. He's got little balls on his chest. A little cotton tail back there. I like the frilly thing around his neck. Definitely looks like a clown. Then we get one of my favorites, Circus Chica. I don't have actually any real problems with her that I've noticed. Uh, the paint isn't perfect for the hat up here. You can see where the uh, the purple is. The hat is green with purple just painted on it. You can definitely see they didn't quite go up to all the uh, lines like they should have. But for just the hat being off, I'm okay with it. Uh, oh, and this was that soft plastic I was mentioning earlier. Her skirt. Very soft. It's kind of like uh, this, except softer. Yeah, the skirt is definitely softer. You can see some patches on there. Had to do some quick fixing upper. And you can do the same thing. Head can go down, up. She can turn all the way around. Shoulders, elbows, waist, feet, and legs. So, not bad. Oh, she also has a, a tie. That tie is a part of her. Okay, that does not move. Nor does the vest. Well, the vest is actually a separate piece that's, like, attached. Harder plastic, though. It's not soft like the skirt. But, yeah, I have no problems with the Chica one. I think that one's great. It's actually one of my favorites. Let me get Circus Freddy here. Now, this is one of the problems uh, that I notice. His paint is not good at all. Uh, you would think it would be. I mean, everything looks good for the suit. He's wearing... He even has a little flower up here with a little piece of silverish white in the center of it. It looks good. The back looks great. Got the brown tail. Um, he, has, he can move all the same spots as the other circus ones. But my problem with him is, well, if one is hand here, which, I mean, it, I don't know, he just got a little bit extra spray paint because there's a little bit of blue here. But the problem I have is the face. It looks like, like it's dirty. I don't know how well you can see that, but I see like a brown spot here and a brown spot there. Big brown spots. Like, it was tarnished. I don't know. Or they put enough white paint on his face. Or around his mouth area. Looks like they should have put more. It looks kind of thin. Or it's dirty. I don't know. I tried cleaning it. It doesn't come off, so I'm assuming it's mixed in with the paint. I don't know. I don't like that. Especially when it's right there. But then again, Funko isn't really known for, you know, 
quality control. Then we get Balloon Freddy. Happy luck, happy go lucky little guy here, you know. His paint is good. A little bit of, you know, over paint with the blue on the you know, the button on the side with the red, but eh, not a big deal. Uh, again, do not twist this. I twisted his first to see if it would work, and it moved a little bit. But I will not go more than this. Because I'm afraid it's going to just break up. I don't think it's supposed to do that. And just like Balloon Foxy, he can do his head, shoulders, waist, feet, legs. And make that more center. All right. Pretty good. Like I said, I have no problems with this one. So, him and Chica, we have no problems. Even, no, no, I do have a big problem with Bonnie. Never mind. So, yeah, not bad. I like them. Really cool. Uh, it's getting hard to find these things in the store. Let me tell you. My Walmart, actually, the Wal none of the Walmarts near me have these. I had to get all of these through Funko and from like Amazon, Big Bag Toy Store. I think I had to go through all three sites. Except for Amazon. I had to cancel Amazon because Amazon wanted to say these like these two were gonna come out in like the end of June. I was like, no 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 I'm not waiting. Why? That's when the release date said it was for Amazon. Big Bad Toy Store gave it to me like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah, I've been holding on to these for a little while. I don't know why. I just have. Uh been kind of busy but yeah it's hard to find them my store only has like liberty chica and uh the tie-dye ones and i know you can find the fourth of july freddy or fireworks freddy but not at my walmarts so the hunt continues to try to get more i just want to have the whole set of all of them but eh, whatever so that's just been a review of funko's five nights at freddy's circus and balloon figures. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.